Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tiffany. And today's video, if you read the title, is going to be a full face using one makeup brand and it's going to be Maybelline. Now y'all know how I feel about my Fit Me. Y'all know how I feel about my Master Chrome highlight, but most of these products I have literally never tried, never, you know, glanced upon, never really, you know, paid too much attention to. But today I was like, you know, this is what I want to do. Me and my husband went to Target a couple of days ago and I was like, I want to do a full face with one brand and Maybelline, you got the golden ticket. If you're interested in seeing how I got this look, then make sure you keep on watching the video. But before we get into the video, you already know what I'm going to say. If you're here with me, that means you must want to see what I got to say. You must want to see what I got going on. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit that like button after this video is over if you like what you saw. So with that being said, without further ado, let's just get into the video. Okay, so like I said in the intro, this is going to be a full face using only Maybelline products. The other day, me and my husband went to Target and we picked out a shit ton of stuff so I could accomplish this full face, like everything, using Maybelline. So I'm going to get started. I already wiped my face off. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use the Maybelline. I'm not going to say Maybelline after everything because this is a full face with everything Maybelline. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Master Prime Primer, Blur, and Smooth. And this is how it looks. Oh, it's, it's a little something on here. Okay. Like white, white. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. That is different. It doesn't feel tacky or anything. It really feels like a moisturizer. It says primer and base. Okay. What else? So for foundation, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use this top is dirty. We're gonna use the Maybelline. I'm not gonna say Maybelline before everything, I swear. We're gonna use the Super Stay Foundation, the 24 hour Super Stay Foundation. And I got the color 355 Coconut. I'm going to take it and do one, two, three pumps on the back of my hand. So this is three pumps. I'm going to take this NYX Professional Makeup Brush. So now that the foundation is done, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do my brows because I don't feel like I can do concealer and all that first without doing my brows and my eyeshadow because I feel like I'm going to mess it up. So for brow, nope, that's not what I'm going to use. For brows, I'm going to use this Unstoppable. It's actually, it says eyeliner, so probably not a brow um one but it was brown so i decided whatever So this is really light and I don't know if it's because it's mixing in with the foundation or what, but yeah, it's a little light for me. So I can't seem to find my Fit Me concealer. That it, oh, look at that. JK, found it. I got this in the color caramel. And I'm going to use this to clean up my brows.
Okay, so I'm going to go in and clean that up with a brush I hope I can find. Because, oh, it's not looking good for me. I could not find it the last time I did my makeup. And it looks like I can't find it this time. All right, that is great. I'm going to buff it out a little bit with this It Cosmetics brush. It's the dual ended brush that comes with the concealer brush on one side and the little buffer brush on one side. This is as good as they're gonna get. All right, so I had already put that concealer over my eye, and I'm going to go ahead and use two of the City Mini palettes. I'm going to use the City Mini palette they have in collaboration with Makeup Shayla. And that's how that one looks. And then I got the one I just bought, um, the City Mini Palette in on the con the palette, the Concrete Runway. So I think I'm going to do something like with this purple and this blue maybe. My husband picked out a pretty purple lipstick for me. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use this color right here. I'm pretty sure, I don't know if it's because I actually have my brush already, I'm not going to say I did, but I'm going to have. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go, oh, both of these have black. Now I'm going to switch to the other palette, so I'm going to use this one. really smoky really fast okay I got an all black today I can get with that so I'm going to go ahead and mm, should I cut my crease okay I'm gonna go ahead and do a smidge a smidge just, just a smidge of that fit me concealer on a brush I'm gonna cut my crease just a smidge just a smidge I'm going to go in and we got purple lipstick so we're going to do purple and going with this color right here on a flat shadow brush this is going to be I'm going to be going in with the Morphe M17 brush
came out a lot more blue than I initially anticipated. Okay, so I need to blend that out. I need to blend that out. All right. All right. Say no more. I know. I know. Smoky and dark really quickly. That's done though. I ain't messing with it no more. So to conceal, I'm going to go ahead and use the Fit Me Found um, the Fit Me Foundation. The Fit Me Concealer and I'm going to layer my concealer. I'm gonna put that down first. So I'm going to lay on top of that the Age Rewind Concealer and I got the color Honey. This is my first time using this concealer, so I'm excited. To blend that out with this, what was this brush? Maybe the sponge bar. I think it was. I don't really remember, but this is just how the sponge is shaped. Okay, so since that blended out, I have another Fit Me concealer to try. For contour, I don't know how it's gonna work because it's not that dark, but it was on my head that looked like it might work. So it's in the color cocoa. This is like a bronze shade. That's, that's not that's just not gonna work so I'm going to go in with my black opal we already know this is you know this is a normal thing So 
that worked for my nose, but not so much for my face. So my face is it's, it's good now. It's good now. So I'm going to go in with the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in medium. So it's the lighter one. Tap some in the wood. And I'm going to go in with that same. Should I go with a sponge or a brush? Mm. I'm going to go in with this Morphe brush to put this powder down because I'm not really feeling that sponge now. Okay, so my camera was on the fritz, you know, but we're back at it again. Like we're back like we never left. So I went in and dusted off that um powder and then I went over with the the uh, uh, the fit me pressed powder and 355 coconut. I went ahead and went over everything with that. So let me help you get some back in. So Okay, so I went in and did my lower lash line, smoked on my lower lash line, and put a little highlight in the in the tear duct area. I don't have anything to um, powder contour with, so because I don't think they had any bronzer or anything. If I'm not mistaken, they did not. Okay, so I did get some blush though. They did have some blush, so I got the I feel like I got everything fit me that they have. So I got some blush in the color plum. And this is the color. That makes up oh, very rosy now. So I shut my face and all that. I'm making a lot of noise. So I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter in Molten Gold. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this lip color, and this is the Vivid Hot Lip Lacquer. I can't read. In the color Royal. really purple compared to my eyes really 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 purple mm. let me go ahead and pop some lashes on and set my face I couldn't set my face first
Okay, so we made it to the end of the video. I know y'all are excited because I don't feel like this video was too long. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be that long. Once I edit it and everything, I have yet to do that. Obviously, because I'm filming this outro for you guys. But once I get through all of that, I'm sure it won't be that long. But yeah, I made it and I am really excited with how the look turned out. I honestly can say the only thing is the loose finishing powder. I would not recommend leaving it on your face for too long because it does kind of set into your skin like set set into your skin and it was kind of hard to dust off but i mean other than that it did set my concealer um but a gem from the video that i think was a win-win was the fit me press powder in the color 355 man this now i got some new finishing powder and i'm pretty excited about that and um the eyeshadow palette was really good, but if y'all watch my other videos, or y'all already know how I feel about the City Mini palette with Makeup Shayla. This is just my first time trying another one, um, and I'm really excited all in all with how it turned out. And the eyeshadow look, it came out a little bit smokier than I think I initially anticipated, and <laughs> I'm looking a little bit more grungy than I initially, you know, planned out. And I feel like the black hair, you know, the black hair, the shirt, you know, all of that contributed to it. But I'm really excited with how the look turned out. So if you like how this turned out and all of that, make sure you give the video a thumbs up, like I said in the beginning of the video, if you didn't already do that. And make sure you hit the subscribe button if you didn't already do that before we got to this. But if you made it to the end of the video, then you must, you know, be picking up what I'm putting down. You must like what I'm talking about because... You made it to the end. I talk a lot, okay? A lot. But that's it. That is all. And I really hope y'all like this video. So that's it. As always, I'm your girl Tiffany. Thank you so much, so much, so much, so much, so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video.